Oh, um, hello, hello, um, could you keep it down a bit, please? I'm trying to get some sleep, Jesus. Um, so, so we appear to be in a mental institute, which begs the question, were we in a mental institute all along? The great news is, um, it appears to be a Victorian mental institute, which, you know, not really known for being the nicest places on Earth. Um... I don't know why I'm checking in all these, because you just know someone's going to be behind one of them. Block A security. Um, yeah, Victorian mental institutions not really known for actual mental health care. More as a dumping ground for uh, embarrassing relatives that you don't really want to deal with anymore. Um, not entirely sure why I'm checking all of these. Um, because you know there's going to be someone who jumps up in one of them, don't you? Oh look, good thing I don't have to check that one. Um... Yeah... Just... <gasps> Mother of God. Um... Well there we go, common theme for all of this. My God, why have thou forsaken me? Why has thou forsaken me? Good reason. Probably because I've done a bad thing. Let's go to the reception. Um, cocaine extract in alcohol. So I see Sips has been around here then. Hydrotherapy. Hmm. See, this is what I mean. I mean, this is probably one of the tamer ones, but um, Victorian medical practices. What was that sound? Uh, not great and they tried all these kind of weird and wonderful um, treatments like hydrotherapy and lobotomies and electric shock treatment which apparently does work um, and isn't actually administered like a kind of stereotypical horror movie mm, um, depicts it um, lead tablets okay but yeah being made to take things like cocaine and lead and all that and lobotomies. I don't think there's ever should be a case for lobotomies. Oh, hello. Should we have a look? Hello. Of course, there's no one there. Um. Yeah, definitely wouldn't want to get stuck in one of these places. Sort of puts me in the mind of um. Hellraiser Two. What is that noise going on in the background there? Sounds like a leprechaun being squeezed. Um, I guess we go down? Because going downstairs in this game has always proven really, really good. Um, oh good, someone's crying. Um, and we're walking towards it. I'm pretty sure that will end well. But yeah, Hellraiser 2 was set in a mental institution and they had like a kind of locked floor full of the more severe patients. <laughs> what? Oh god. Um. Oh dear. I've gone a bit die hard and cut my feet. This is why you should never go around without shoes on, boys and girls. Um. You'll never know when you might come across broken glass. Oh my god, doctor's office. Anything in here that can help me? Arsenic capsules! That, that could help. Um, yes. Let's see, what does this eye test say? Ev, Eve, every... Everything is a lie. Well, that's handy. Um, everything is a lie. Including that nasty little laugh. More arsenic, nothing I can use here. Hello, maybe I'll just stand in this dark shadow until everything just finishes. 
I'm sure someone will uh, go first. Ghosties or me. Um, block B, row two. This actually kind of reminds me of um, a film I watched recently called Grave Encounters, which is one of those um, sort of found footage films. I watch a lot of horror films. A lot of horror films. Um, and it was a found footage one that kind of followed people who make this. Whoa! No! 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 Oh, look at... Oh, oh, don't come near me. Don't come near me. Oh, um... Uh... No? How about... Well, I'm, I'm hoping that... Because his eyes are... Shirt that maybe you can't see me. Let's go in here, shall we? Let's get away from the creepy man with no face. Um, yeah, uh, Grave Encounters, found footage, sort of following like a bunch of people who make documentaries about haunted houses in real life. Um, but they go into like an old mental institution that oh, oh. Someone's got an arm off. That's not good. Um, but yeah, they go into an old mental institution that of course turns out to actually be haunted. And it was pretty effective. I'm pretty jaded to a lot of horror movies nowadays, but it definitely got a few jump scares out of me. Um, and it kind of... Because it was all first-person found footage type stuff, there was just some really nasty bits where they were walking down these dark corridors where all the doors to the cells were open, and it just made me feel like something was going to jump out from around the corner. Um, like, and every time they kind of... Sl because you're not in control of the camera, like, obviously the person the cameraman was... Oh, dear. So you were forced to kind of go at the pace they were going around the corners and looking into the rooms. Oh, dining hall! This is probably going to be full of fun things. Um, like in Outlast. Remember Outlast? Actually, this is reminding me of Outlast quite a lot. Maybe we'll find uh, Chris here. Or Billy. Mr. Soggy Thumb. Um, actually, I could do with seeing Mr. Soggy Thumb around now, because uh, I didn't mind him by the end. I felt sorry for him. Um, oh, this reminds me of when I had school dinners. Probably a bit tastier here, though. Ooh! Ooh, someone's been having fun here. Maybe it's not blood, though. Maybe it's just jam. Maybe someone's had, like, an... Yeah, that looks like a ketchup bottle. Maybe someone's just had an incident with a ketchup bottle, just shaking it a bit too... a bit too much. Um... This is really unsettling me now. Um... Oh, great. I can hear more. Um... Ooh, glass on the floor there. Let's be careful about that. Ooh, there he is. There he is. Yeah, long-limbed freak. Um, some of you may be wondering why I'm not playing this with Hannah. And uh, there's a couple of reasons. One is that we're so busy right now that we're struggling to uh, find free time to record with each other. But also, um, she wanted to play The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, um, and I wanted to play it sort of off-camera and just enjoy it. You know, because sometimes there are these games that we like to just kind of play without commentary, um, and I wanted to play Ethan Carter on my own, um, just like I've played Gone Home off-camera. Um, so, ooh, no, 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 Oh, no. But yeah, we, we do have other Fright Nights planned with um, Alien Isolation and The Evil Within coming up. So there is plenty of lovely horror in store from us. Well, I'm starting to sort of wish I did buddy up with... Uh, oh, nice. Uh, with Hannah for this, because um, I'm really getting quite unnerved here. Hands quite sweaty on the keyboard. <laughs> See, the thing about this is it has jump scares, but it also has the kind of atmospheric stuff, really, where just a lot of the art style and the shadows, the use of shadows on this and sound design is just kind of really creating quite the atmosphere, for me at least. And I'm, I'm playing this quite late at night, um, at home, in the dark. Um, 
and I sort of don't want to turn around in my chair. Obviously it's ridiculous the idea that something would actually be in my house behind me. Um, it's a worry I have often, especially when you live alone. Um, so yeah, I'm, I, I sort of wish she was here. <laughs> um, showers. Oh great. Last time we went into the showers in a mental institution, the twins were there. Remember the twins? They were friendly, weren't they? Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, let's just leave. Let's just leave. Christ, there are limbs all over the place. Um, yeah, let, let's, let's get out of here. Um, don't like this. Don't like this at all. Um, oh great, I can hear more of those chumps. Oh, what is, what is that? What is that? Oh, please stop. Please stop. So I reckon we can get quite close to these. Oh, I bet I'm going to have to walk behind them in all of this, aren't I? Silently does it. Here we go. Here we go. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. I haven't checked one of these for a while. It's probably full of fun things, like rivers of blood coming from the windows. Um, let's just stop there. See, you can actually get quite close to them. But yeah, just casual, you know? Just a pile of corpses, nothing to worry about. I don't like the way this has a... Ooh. Ooh. Let's hope... What's that? <laughs> no! Well, screwed that one up. Uh, easy does it, chap. Easy does it. And I'll just nip through here. Tatty bye! Oh good, there's still more. Um, that's getting worse too. Just sort of, again, I'm starting to feel that sort of nagging frustration of we're going through corridors that are essentially the same, but different. You know, very slightly different. I mean, fair play to Matt Gilgenbach for, uh, Ooh, goodbye. But yeah, fair play to him for drawing inspiration from his own personal struggles in life. I mean, they do say that that is, you know, something you should try and do rather than be frustrated by it and turn it to something, use, use your energy in a positive way. Um, wait, are we black cell one? Block A? Yeah, so we're back in block A! Oh, God. So I don't know how many times we're going to have to loop around in this. Um, oh, and I can hear... I can hear Billy Ballbags over here. Ooh, very nearly screwed that one up. Um, shh. Oh, look, there's broken glass over there, so we've got to be careful with that one. I wonder if Yep, nearly screwed that one up. Oh, we're going to have to run, aren't we? Right, tell you what we're going to do. Wait for him to go far left. And then go... Run, 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 run! Oh! Oh, no, 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 no! No! Gabby, what... What's going on? I've told you repeatedly to address me as Dr. Smith. But you're my sister. I'm afraid you're mistaken. Where... where am I? You're in a lunatic asylum and have been for quite some time. Why am I here? Why do you think you're here? I don't know. We've reached the end of our session. Please see yourself out. Um... Okay. First things first. Definitely a games designer. That hair is too modern for Victorian times. Um... Also, what? You're my sister. What are you... Ugh. Just remember what it said. Remember what the eye chart said. Everything is a lie, including eye charts. And cake. Especially cake. Um... Okay, let's see if we can get past this. Oh, there's another one of those... dudes there. Um... Hmm. Not entirely sure how we're going to get this one done. 
seems quite a short time on this. Can I sneak below him? How close? Oh no, no! So he's changed his pattern. If I can just get past you. Here we go. Ooh, I think I'm far enough away from him. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, great. Um, dreams are the enemy of the guilty. Dreams are the enemy of the guilty? This doesn't really feel like a dream. This definitely feels like the nightmare part. And I've cut my feet again. Any other wise? Everything is a lie. Yeah, I was getting that. Everything is a lie, including strawberry jam. Just blood. Just blood. So, if everything is a lie, then this all isn't real. This uh, whole raining blood business. Ooh, exit. Yes, please. Thank you. Now, get me out of here. Oh. Um. Hello? Don't like that. Can I go up here? No. Well, here we go. Here goes nothing. Okay. Well, things are always made better when you're a kid. Oh, no, 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 no. No, did you see that? The dolls started walking. That's not fair if the dolls start walking. <laughs>